To live on a boat is much about energy. To store our energy, we used lead acid batteries in the past, like most boats. We found out by our drones that lithium batteries do this much more effective. Special lithium ferropolymer batteries combine high energy density and safety. To get our lithium batteries, we needed to find the right product, evaluate different technologies to find the right one that fits for our boat. China is a workbench where lithium polymer batteries are produced. We contacted many Chinese sellers. We found out that the for boats widely offered drop-in style batteries with built-in battery management system are not to be recommended. We needed to negotiate a purchase agreement and take money in our hands. After closing the deal, we had to wait 14 days until the air freight was delivered by UPS. So hey guys, our battery, lithium battery arrived and that is our battery then. How many cartons is it? Two, four, six, eight cartons. That was a very exciting moment for us. After waiting 14 days, our air freight finally arrived and we were kind of tense when we inspected the pricey batteries. Everything arrived in perfect condition and we were very happy with our very professional dealer. It turned out that the battery cells they sent us performed perfectly and they even provide 10% more capacity than promised. In the component package, we received all the necessary small parts to connect the cells. Silver plated copper connectors, screws to fix them, and intercell connectors. And some wire terminals, also silver plated. So this is our lithium battery that arrives, that was arrived on Wednesday. So this is our newly arrived batteries, lithium ferropolymer from China. This is 24 volts in the end and 600 ampere hours so every of these cells has 100 ampere hours and 3.6 volts nominal so they are arranged in parallel here and so we have eight blocks of parallel cells so in the end we will end up with 24 volts and 600 ampere hours and they are quite light they are not that heavy like an lead acid it's only like half the weight and we need eight pieces lead acid we have 12 pieces double the weight so with this one we end up around 150 kilos less than the lead acid battery bank and we can use 80 percent of this we can discharge it down to 20 percent without damaging the cells the lead acid there is maybe 40% usable and 60% unusable load in it. Uh, if we would go lower than that, we would start damaging the cells. So with this one we have much more capacity and 
less weight. And one big advantage is we can charge them much quicker than Elite Acid. Elite Acid has a charging curve like this, very slow in the end. And mm -hmm. this one is just full power all the time until they are full. Unfortunately, they arrive a bit damages. The Chinese pack them only in a carton for travel. Very thin carton. A very thin carton and some very thin, thin foam around. I expected a bit more. Just like an Amazon packing. Yeah? <laughs> some disalignment of the cells itself. Like... Ah, this is the worst one. Like this one. So the cells are going down. So I will try to open here and try to align them again. Possible. Dismantling everything. That work. But Don't press too much, just, just hold it a bit. So, mm -hmm. this one. Wait, 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 I'm not done. I'm done. Okay, go. So it became time to get the very very heavy lead acid batteries out of the boat. So we have a battery bank of 12 very heavy almost 30 kilos batteries. Like this. Nice work guys because it's very heavy. Today, we'll keep that block now for our lights. One, two. We don't lift it. No, I won't. <laughs> 
And after that annoying work, it was time to get the new batteries into the boat. What a fun to carry these very compared light batteries into the boat. You will find more technical details on our homepage velanautica.org. The link is below in the description. This is the lead acid battery that we are going to trash and yeah changing our system into a lithium one and yeah there is still three more in the cabin and then Oliver decided that why we didn't uh, we don't take these three more out there and it's another four a four so it's 12 lead acid battery all yeah, in all huh? 12 service lead acid batteries right yeah the bad thing is that it's very heavy this one battery I it guess it 30 kilos weighs each. 30 kilos each yeah and it's very hard it's it's a tough work to just um, one person working it alone or transferring the batteries so there is more uh, there is four more batteries there left and Oliver decided that we will just we will um, just leave it there. Leave it there for now, and temporarily. To use it for our lights yes. facilities until the new battery is completely in. And this is our lithium battery now that we changed. That we're going to change. Temporary, we set up a test environment with a new charger and the new lithium ferropolymer batteries. Until I modified the battery compartment and could install the new batteries on their final place. Because the lithium battery bank is much smaller, it's possible now to put the charger uh, beside the battery compartment so the wire length is much shorter, what is much better. This is a voice from the future because this is now the modified battery case. So you see the original battery case was up to here and this was all full with lead acid batteries. So what you see here is the lithium battery bank. This is now mm, roughly 27 volts um, with these cells and 600 ampere at least. So actually I once discharged them and it's at least 660 amperes or maybe more. So what the Chinese sent us, it's a very well performing battery and uh, with more capacity than technically uh, described and promised from the Chinese. So they gave us a really good product. Um, these ones are the cell uh, modules from the BMS, no? battery management system. And the main controller is in the navigation area. So, and we can access all this by Wi-Fi. So we can see the status of the battery uh, by Wi-Fi on any tablet, mobile, whatever, laptop. We know exactly what's going on. And these cell modules control the cells, measure the, permanently the voltage of it and in case of there is an unbalance, uh, it will balance the cells. But actually that is rarely necessary. Uh, once the cells are balanced, they will stay balanced. The advantage of this setup is that we didn't take the drop-in uh, lithium batteries which have every single uh, case had to, has its own BMS and even the Chinese vendor said they don't like to sell these products because after time these drop-in battery cases might get unbalanced against each other and then the higher capacity battery will start charging the lower capacity battery and huge currents will flow through the BMS and the BMS modules in there are not made for this. So there will be a damage after time. This, uh, this setup is much advanced to it. We have only one controller 
and there's no current going through this controller. So the boat is directly connected to this uh, setup. We can take as much power as the battery can provide. There's no limits and it's a power BMS. So it's much, it's very good now that we have this because um, when we had this lead acid, so we are more like limited of our power supply. Yes, so with the lead acid batteries, we were very limited. Um, we couldn't use that high capacity. Now we can discharge down to 20 or even 10% without damaging these batteries. With the lead acid batteries, we couldn't discharge lower than 60, maybe 50%. And after that, we started to damage the batteries. In the next episode about the lithium battery system, we will show you more uh, specific technical details of the system on Belanartica and we will show you how our experience and the capabilities of the lithium battery system improved our life on board. So that's all for today's episode guys. If you like this video please hit the like button and subscribe. Your subscription helps us to produce more videos like this. And don't forget to hit the notification bell beside the subscription button. To get notified when we upload a new video. So, cheers guys cheers. and waves to all of you. Bye, see you in our next episode. Da -da -da. What time is it? It's 6 p.m. So it's good for a sundowner. Cheers. 6 p.m. Sundowner? So yeah. it's allowed since 12 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess that's all. We got it. Yeah.